Hi guys, my name is Ivana and welcome to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a handbag comparison video and I will be comparing the Michael Kors Large Grayson Satchel to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. And while this may not be an apples to apples comparison, um, it is going to be a pretty good comparison on style and somewhat on size. Um, the Speedy 30 is a little bit smaller, so probably the Speedy 35 would be a better um, apples to apples on size comparison to the Michael Kors Grayson, uh, but I have the Speedy 30. And I have a brand new Michael Kors Grayson versus a vintage Speedy 30 that I purchased pre-loved on, pre on eBay. So I can probably compare the, um, yeah, probably the style the most because the material is gonna be a little difficult because this is 27 year old canvas on the Speedy 30 versus brand new um, PVC on the Michael Kors Grayson. So let me, oh, first of all, I also wanna mention that there are several videos on YouTube um, for this, um, a comparison on these two bags and I just want to shout out one in particular from my friend on YouTube all things beautiful she did a great video comparing her speedy bandolier 30 to her Michael Kors Grayson and I'm going to link her video in my description so I hope you guys check that one out because hers is a really nice thorough um, more apples to apples comparison I would say to the two bags um, so first I want to thank a friend of mine who actually gave me this bag, the Michael Kors Grayson, because um, she couldn't use it. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I've been using this bag for the last two weeks, the Michael Kors bag. And um, so I've got a pretty good idea on how it carries and all that jazz. So. The Speedy 30 I carried one day, and that is because I've had some problems with it, and I noticed that there was some cracking on the leather, so I didn't want to push it. Plus there is a, mm, I don't know if it's a vintagey odor or a kind of a musty odor coming from the bag, and it is really off-putting to me, and it's hard for me to carry, so I've been kind of setting it aside on a shelf with some odor eliminating gel in there to try to take away the scent. So. Let's get started on the comparison. So this is the Michael Kors Large Grayson satchel. And here are all of the sides. And just for a quick look, here is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, um, classic Speedy 30. So I've got a magazine in the bottom as a base shaper because I heard that was something that you could use for that. So let's get started with the size. The Michael Kors Large Grayson is 14 inches in length, 9 inches in height, and 7 inches in width. And the, um, the weight is 2.9 pounds, made in Vietnam. It's made of PVC and leather. This is PVC and the handles are leather and the strap is leather, and the strap drop is five inches, and it's also got a very generous, this is very long, more for crossbody than shoulder. When I wear it on the shortest setting on shoulder, it goes pretty much down by my hip or past my hip. But it's very handy to have the strap. And the Speedy 30 measures 11, 0.8 inches in length, 8.3 inches in height, and seven, oh this way, seven inches in width, or no, um, what do I have here? Oh, 6.7 inches. So, sorry, 11.8 inches in length, 8.3 inches in height, and 6.7 inches in width. And the strap drop is three inches. And this one does not have the shoulder strap. So 
I actually will show you side by side. So the Speedy 30 is just a little bit smaller. This is a big bag. Um, but I did notice right now I've got a pillow stuffed in here to keep its shape But when I do take the pillow out and I put my things in here and I use a smaller bag organizer than the size of the bag But it is structured. It does kind of collapse a little bit on itself and it it keeps it takes on a overall smaller look which I like because this is kind of a big bag for for me so Let's talk about some pros and cons so and these are, in my opinion, pros and cons for me, and they may not be for you. So I just want to call them out. Um, so the, the Grayson is definitely more weather friendly of a bag because this leather right here is more of a coated leather and it does not get any water spots or anything like that on it. So, <clears throat> and this is made of PVC and of course it just, wipes clean and you can wipe the water and the water actually rolls right off of it and same with the canvas on here but you have to worry about the Vachetta leather in the rain so that's what makes this a more weather friendly bag um, what I like about the Michael Kors Pro for me is it has very beautiful details on the hardware let's see on the sides of the buckles it says Michael Kors engraved down there on the clips for the d-rings for the strap it's got Michael Kors engraved down there I love the beautiful buckles on the handle that's like one of my favorite details on a bag right there and all the shiny gold bling right there I love the zipper is a beautiful chunky gold zipper that has Michael Kors engraved on it it's got feet on the bottom and um, a nice charm there with MK and Michael Kors engraved on it. And you can remove that charm if you're not a charm girl or a guy. So um, those are the beautiful details that I really enjoy on this bag. The zipper is smooth as silk. Um, the inside is lined with a nice fabric lining. It's got pockets galore. There's a zipper pocket on the back wall, a very generous zipper pocket, and two slip pockets or patch style pockets. And on the other side, there are two slip pockets, patch or patch style pockets. So that to me is a pro you've got a lot of organization in this bag um, it has a strap which is really nice and handy um, you don't have to worry about patina on this leather it's going to stay light like this if that's how you like it it's probably not going to get dirty you can easily clean it um, I would put the patina thing as a pro and a con because I know some people love to watch their bag age and how it changes through its life so that could be a pro and a con. It's got beautiful stitching. It's going to be really hard to see here, I think, but the stitching on this bag is perfect. I can't find one place where there is a stitch out of place. So, um, you know, that's, that's what, that's what many say about the, um, high-end handbags like Louis Vuitton that the stitching is perfect but as you can see you'll find it on the contemporary designers um, in particular Michael Kors you will find it also um, I mentioned the feet on the bottom and the beautiful buckle on the handles and the PVC versus coated cotton now for me um, the PVC might be a little bit of a con because I think I would prefer coated cotton. I feel like PVC is plastic and I think it is plastic. So I don't know if this material is plastic through and through, but I think it is because it's, it says it's PVC. So I don't think it's got a plastic coating over cotton, but I'm, I'm not sure. I, that one I cannot verify. 
um, but it feels a little stiffer and maybe because it's new, I don't know. Whereas the Louis Vuitton is a little softer and more malleable. So um, that is kind of maybe a little bit of a con for me, the PVC. Um, it's got flat handles here versus rolled handles like on the Louis Vuitton. You see it's got the nice rolled handles. So that is probably a con for me, even though these handles, they're pretty nice and thick and they feel padded kind of. So it's, it's not that bad and it's pretty okay to carry. Um, another con for me, I think this bag is pretty heavy with all this gold detail on here and the buckles and everything. And plus it's a large bag. It kind of does make it a little weighty. So once I put my things in here, it does get heavy and it's not very comfortable on the shoulder or crossbody for me because of the weight. But if that doesn't bother you, then it wouldn't be a con for you. Okay. So another one last little con, and this is my personal preference. It's a big bag. I would prefer it to be just a little bit smaller, but that's not a con if you are a big bag girl or guy. So um, that is, I just want to mention one more thing about these handles. Look at the detail. So look at all of the detail on how they put that buckle together. I mean, this, in my opinion, this bag really just spares no expense on the details. Um, so let's talk about the Speedy and the pros and cons. So the pros, one of the biggest pro for me is the weight. This bag is light. It's light as a feather to me compared to Dooney and Burke. I'm so used to carrying Dooney and Burke bags and they are known to be pretty heavy because of the leather. This is very light and right now I've got that magazine in there but and so it's making it a little heavier but without anything in here I mean it is so light and I really love that about it another pro it's iconic this design most people will recognize it it's just an iconic bag in an iconic design um, the rolled handles are another pro for me the coated cotton versus the PVC that is a pro and the nice zipper so even after 27 years, this zipper still glides like butter. I would say this one's a little bit smoother, but it's still a beautiful zipper. Now the cons for me are, the number one con for me on this bag is the price point. Um, to me, knowing that I can have this at a fraction, and I mean a fraction of the cost, with beautiful details, great stitching, great quality, then I just think that the price is going to be a huge con for me on this one. Another con, it's not weather friendly. You have to worry about the Vichetta leather. There's no lining in this bag and virtually almost no organization. There is one pocket. Let me just take the magazine out. Um, you know, it's just got the textile, which they call textile lining, but it really, I guess it is lining. It just feels like it's the underside of the, um, the coated cotton. And then it's just got the one little pocket right there. Um, the short handles, the three inch drop is kind of hard for me. I have big hands. So wiggling my hand, maneuvering it through here and getting it on my arm is a little bit more difficult with the three inch drop. Um, what else do I have here? Um, no feet. I think for a price point like this, a bag should definitely have feet to protect its bottom. Um, no extended zipper, which is something I didn't talk about as a pro on the Michael Kors. It just goes across the top of the bag and people have complained about the, you know, restricted opening. Now on the 30, it's not that restricted as it is on the 25, but as you can see on the Michael Kors bag, the zipper goes down a little bit on the sides here, allowing it to open way wider than this. So that to me is a con. Um, and the hardware, I believe is just brass. So it tarnishes and gets dull. So you can see the zipper on there. 
I don't know if you can see that. There's a glare, but it is kind of dull. And I know it can be polished up with Brasso, but I don't think it ever gets as shiny as this. And that is because this is a gold tone hardware. So they've got a gold coating over whatever is used, whatever metal is used on here. So, um, you know, that can be a pro and a con. I know some people prefer it to just be straight brass and then you can polish it up as it gets dull. This one, if it starts chipping, then you're pretty much stuck because you're just gonna see the chips. So that's a pro and a con. So I don't, I really don't know what else I can say about these bags. Those are my overall pros and cons. Um, my, my final assessment is if I had the choice, I would go for the Michael Kors bag. Um, while I, I do find this beautiful and it, it feels really nice to own such an iconic bag, the price point just does not outweigh um, the, all of the pros of this bag. And so that is just my opinion. Um, I, I've really been enjoying carrying this bag for the last two weeks. It's been really a beautiful bag. It goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe. While it's got a pattern on it, it is a very muted pattern. So it almost just looks like texture sometimes to me. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any more questions, let me know. And um, if you would like, check out All Things Beautiful uh, video. She's got a great comparison video too. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye. Purse comparisons take 97. Action.